All right. Good morning, good evening, good night, good day, good whatever you want it. How's it going, uh, guys, gals, and non-binary pals, as Jazz would say? I'm coming to you guys today with uh, just a shorter video. This is going to be something we link a lot or an introduction, but... Uh, for new and returning players or people who just don't know, there is a, a system we have in place that we've been using since probably 2017, 2016, and I'm going to show you what that system is today. And what that system is, is we go to a marketplace and this, hold on, before I'm jumping ahead of the train, right? What, do, what am I talking about? Well, this game is about 90% free to obtain, but to obtain it, you need a thing called shards. And most people are like, well, how do I get the most shards for the bang for my buck? Well, that's with gold. We have gold right here. I just try to point to the screen like you could see me. I'm an idiot. But we have gold right here, right? And uh, you procure this by playing dailies, playing games, completing challenges, stuff like that. If you're playing just the daily campaign, which is about two strategy scenarios that do change in difficulty and stuff like that, you can get about, I want to say, 5,000 gold per every three to four days. Now, what do we do with this gold that we cure? You don't want to do two things. You want to go to decks. You want to buy this deck called Dancers in the Snow. We're going to buy one right now. It's 5,000 gold. You buy it. Congratulations. You've earned this deck. Before we go and do the rest of it, I'm going to do a quick pause. You can go to this extra tab. You can buy avatar token packs. You can buy 10 token packs. Or you can buy 30 token packs with your other gold. That way you can level up your champions or your avatar at any time. And it just takes a little bit extra gold. But let's go back, right? So we just have 5,000 gold and we buy the Dancers in the Snow. And everyone's like, well, why buy that one and not any of the other ones? The reason for it is this one has the most value out of all of these things when it comes to sacrificing the cards to get the most shards for crafting. But before we can sacrifice them, we have to go to our manager. We have to then find the deck. We have to come over to the edit button, hit delete battle group. Yep. After that, we can go to our forge. We can go to the uh, Savage Tundra section. And then I like to sort by their uh, bracket. So it's like, okay, we I see we have some snow spinners. Let's uh, sacrifice them. And that's all you do. This is all you have to do is just sacrifice. Make sure you don't hit the uh, confirm button or the forge, or then you'll take away your shards, right? Another thing important to know is it does not automatically update after you sacrifice to do that you you will have to refresh your page and we do have an extension that a a fan made which is a uh an auto sharder but i've never used used it i never saw the reason to i like to go through and do it myself but if you're if you feel like it's tedious you don't like that also i'm kind of a i'm, I'm kind of like a i used to just buy the dancers in the snow packs like six times and just sacrifice the exotics and the legendaries and then call it good because even with the exotic and legendaries if you do it twice i think you get about almost i can't do the math right now but you should be able to rip out about like 5k shards something like that but uh yeah you just go through and uh as you can see it's updated and you just go through and you uh you keep sacrificing and as you keep sacrificing you get all this stuff and uh once that you get your shards right and then you can go and buy whatever you want so if i wanted to buy uh let's say i wanted to buy a bog hopper black hand i already own four of them but there you go i can do that and that's 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 it that's the step process on why and what we do um i know sometimes it can be confusing and if you ever get confused, just ask someone in the lobby, and most likely one of us will help. But this is uh, the video to show you how to do it. You you simply buy the ST starter deck, Dancers in the Snow. The reason for that, it's the best value. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But if you're just going to sacrifice all the cards to get shards, that's the best one to get it. Everyone's done the math. That's the one that comes out. 5k gold, you get that by just playing the game. Stuff like that. Uh, but the most important step that a lot of people miss is they try to buy the deck and go straight to the forge to sacrifice it. You have to come here and you have to sacrifice it via the uh, manager. So I'll just show it one more time before I let you all go and have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, night, morning, whatever. We bought it. We come back. We go to Dancers in the Snow. We delete it. And then we are allowed to go to our checklist, not our checklist, the forge. Go to the faction, go to the rarity, find it, 
sacrifice away. And that's all you have to do. It's that easy. That easy, folks. Well, this is Rorschach tuning in to try to give you a little cheat to help you along on your journey. Stay tuned. I'll be releasing another video here shortly in the upcoming months, kind of giving you guys an update what's going on and what the uh, plan is for the future. And uh, as always, happy boxing, and I uh, hope you all hope to see you all on the battlefield shortly. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Peace.